myself Dr. Manjubi Nair, working as a fertility specialist at Cloud9 Fertility Old Airport Road. As far as the male partner is concerned, there are two kinds of abnormalities which can happen. There is uh, something which is called as azoospermia, where there is absence of sperms completely in the ejaculate, and there is oligoacinoteratospermia, where the sperm count and the motility is on the lesser side. Azoospermia can be of two types, where there is a sperm production, but it is not coming out into the semen, which is termed as uh, obstructive azoospermia. That means there is an obstruction in the pathway of the sperms coming out or non-obstructive azoospermia where the testicular production of the sperm is defective and there is no sperm production happening at all in the testis. As far as the oligoacinoteratospermia, the term used is oligo means on the lesser side, asteno, the motility is on the lesser side and teratospermia which means that the morphology of the sperm is not up to the mark. So these are the three, four parameters which can happen with the, the male partner uh, and their sperm uh, issues and this needs to be addressed significantly as it can lead to significant problems in conception. As far as the female or uh, the wife is concerned, there are three things which we are concerned about. That is uterine factor, any problem within the uterus like fibroids which is causing problems into the uterine cavity preventing an implantation to happen or ovarian dysfunctions like ovulatory dysfunctions, polycystic ovaries or endometriotic cysts which will prevent the egg development or the egg to come out properly and the tubal factors which is any tubal blockages which will prevent the egg and the sperm to meet together to form a conception. So these are the parameters which can cause infertility in women.